Hello guys and welcome to this video. This video gonna be insane. Literally, my top loss, my jungle loss, my mid loss. It was me and the Tarek against the world. It was an amazing game. So I want to share with you how you can carry the teammates that are in team, right? How you can apply the same concepts when you're snowballing to snowball the game out of control. So enemies ca can't stop you. They can't do anything. Right, so first, first, thing, uh, first things first, you need to push in the wave. Right, always make sure that if enemy is leashing, you push in the wave, so you get the lane prior, so you get level two first, and then you're gonna look for all in. Right, so right now I pushed it in, I got the lane prior. It's really, really important not to push it too much, right, because you want the next wave to match somewhere here. Right, so it's really, really important not to get punished like I did right here that was not ideal but I just wanted level 2 badly right so I don't mind getting poked a little bit but not this much so it's my bad right so I proc the potion because I want to look for all level 2 all in we go on the trash trash flashes boom easy and then we kill the trash uh, the twitch as well so this game is d1 to masters uh, MMR Oh, that was a really nice E flash by Tarek, well played by him. And we already got two kills on the scoreboard, which is amazing. Right? 2 0 0, 150 bounty, just like that. Right? We push in the wave, and then we're gonna look for a recall. Right? You never want to stay for a plate, because it's just not worth to waste your tempo over a little bit of gold. Right? So, for the first bag, I bought Dirk and Refilbo, which is ideal purchase. For Nila, right? So this is literally the best case scenario, the best start at three minutes that you can have as Nila, right? Let's be honest. Like it's amazing. It's amazing start. But a lot of people struggle to continue snowballing, to continue their lead. They start throwing, randomly dying in mid to late game, and then the game becomes hard, your teammates are not doing well either, and then it's game over. In the games like this, when your top and mid and jungle is losing you need to play perfectly one mistake can make a huge difference so again we go for a twitch which doesn't press on the lantern and we get a kill all right perfect we got two kills so we're already 3-0 just like that it's really amazing and now we're gonna be pushing one more wave in diana is ganking mid that's fine we're not afraid of diana anyway right so we just push in the wave Perfect, the Tarek is also helping to me to push the wave. That's why I love Master Tier supports, right? Because they actually know how to manage the wave properly, they help you with the wave management, and you don't need to like babysit them and ping them non-stop. Sometimes you do if you're out of field, right? But for example, for this Tarek, I didn't need to do much, right? I just chill, relax, and collect the kills. Alright, so the wave is bouncing to me. I look for a roam uh, because Twitch is roaming. There's a skirmish mid. Maybe I can influence a fight, and then the Twitch go and Twitch goes on me. Uh, the Twitch is invisible. He wants him to lantern him, but the Twitch doesn't take lantern, and we kill the Trash. After we kill the Trash, we go for Twitch, and yeah, we just back off. I proc a plant so I get vision on enemy jungle. We know that wolves are up, we know that Gromp is up, and we come back to the lane. And why did I roam there? I roam there because the wave was good, it was pushing back to me, right? So that's why I had the roaming timer and I didn't mind roaming, right? And because enemies decided to follow me up, they instantly got punished for it. Okay. Uh, he got the stun, but there's no point following it up. And this is a key moment. A lot of Nila players would just shove it in, right? And then give free experience and go to the Twitch that's level 3, right? But look what I'm doing. I'm only lasting the wave, right? Even though the Tyke is messing up the wave a bit, right? It still doesn't matter. Just because I'm not uh, the one pushing the wave, and I'm only lasting, the wave is still gonna be fine, right? Even for that uh, Tyke auto attack, right? And each time I try to all in, right? Uh, it's fine. Tyke got hooked a little bit. I just protect him so he doesn't get all in. Diana is here. I dip, I just let the Tarek die, right? And Tarek died because he was auto attacking the wave, 
right? If you didn't all die to the wave, the wave would be closer and we would never die to a Diana, right? Uh, of course, I survived probably, right? Because Nila, right? Okay, after that, we reset. After we reset, we buy pickaxe and cloak. So this is not too bad, 4-0 in 6 minutes, right? This is pretty good. Okay, we go back to the lane. Of course, there's some shenanigans going in the jungle. We're invading, we're hunting down the Twitch, that's level 4, we kill the Twitch. Right, Diana comes, we're probably gonna die. I'm not gonna follow this, I'm not gonna be roaming here, right? They survived, so that's great, but I'm not helping them out, getting this blue buff, because my goal as Nila is to push in this wave, right? I don't want to roam and lose this wave for free, right? So, I'm not paying attention to what's going on here. My goal is to continue pushing, right? And now I pushed in the wave. Now I checked if I can actually help them out. I couldn't help them out. And yeah, sadly, they died, right? So, uh, not they, only Rengar died, right? So yeah, right now I'm level 6. I'm looking for a cheese, right? It's really important when you're ahead to cheese as much as possible. And now I got both flashes, which is pretty much ideal scenario for me. Even if Diana comes, I don't care about Diana because I can just run away, right? So even if she goes on me, she can't kill me. Alright, because I have flash. So this is fine. Uh, let's see. I recall. Perfect. I get full item. I get entire collector at minute 8, which is ideal. Not gonna lie, right? And we come back to the lane. Okay. We come back to the lane. The lane is perfect. Look what I do. I don't touch the wave. I literally keep the wave close to my turret, even if I'm 4-0. Right, key moment. I'm not giving free gold and experience to Twitch so he can come back to the game. I want to make the game as difficult as possible for him to actually play. Right, so I'm just chilling, and right now they have two options they either roam and I start pushing, or they try to contest the wave and I kill them. Right, so it's a win win scenario for me. Right, I have full control of the lane, I can do whatever I want. Right. This is an ideal scenario for Nila. So this is a key moment. So yeah, Twitch is here. And we go for a Twitch. Uh, the Tarek misses the Eve. That doesn't matter too much, right? We still keep a wave. The Twitch R's me for some reason. I think he's just tilt. Oh, never mind, never mind. Akali is coming. I was like, what the hell? I thought he's a bit tilted. So he just throws random R. Okay, Tarek has to sacrifice. I'm not afraid of them diving me, to be honest. So I'm just chilling, I get hooked, 1R, I get trash, and then I write down the Twitch as well, and I get a double kill, right? So 6-0, 6-0, and right now, because I don't know where the jungler is, I don't know where the mid laner is, I'm not pushing the next wave. Even though right now I see the mid laner, I already started recalling, and I continue to back off. My next buy is BF Sword, right? So after Collector, I'm going Nawori. So, key moment here, I have 600 gold, and I don't want to give this 600 gold to anyone, right? I don't want to give it to Akali, I don't want to give it to Twitch. I can give it to Trash, and I can give it to Diana. And you're like, why Diana? Because uh, Nila actually counters Diana, right? Because of Nila's W, 25% magic reduction, I never struggle against Diana, even if she's fed, right? Just personally me, right? So, I don't mind giving kills to Diana. But for Twitch, I don't want to give any kills to him. So right now I can't freeze, I look for all-in, because Tariq is looking for all-in, I auto E auto Q, right, it's fine, we go for Diana, Katarina comes, uh, that's fine, Diana flashes away, I'm still chasing, and then I see that we can't chase anymore, I'm afraid of Akali, Akali R's, so now I can just continue killing, because I'm not afraid of anyone, right, and just like that, we end up mid lane. So because we're already mid lane, we're staying mid lane, right? There's no point to, you know, like not push the save in, right? Because I have time, right? I have time. So staying mid and pushing my wave out was really, really good, right? So I'm not wasting any time and then I maximize my CS, right? I'm level 8. Um, one of the highest levels in the game, like my top lane is level 8. My freaking... Okay... My jungler is level 7, right? So, yeah, he flashes away, he's fine. And by the way, 
I didn't help here because I want to push my wave in. It's that important to prioritize the waves early game, right? Because we can snowball so hardly right now. I'm not afraid of any of them, so I'm just zoning the Twitch out. The Twitch appears here, so I just murder him, right? After I murder him, I continue to push. So right now the wave is so huge because it's stacked up over time, right? I slow pushed it and now look how beautiful the wave is, right? And because I have such huge wave and I got a pig here on Twitch, now I'm gonna get the entire turret as well. So right now I have 700 gold bounty and I'm 9 kills. And imagine this, out of 12 kills that my team has, I have 9 of them. My top is losing, building lethality, freaking Ilawi. My jungle is even, my mid is losing, right? So it's the game is uh, looking not not too great, not too great. So key moment here. Where do I go now? Because my top laner is getting literally demolished by Ragnar, I go top, right? Uh, I send the Eloi bot and I go top. So I free the Eloi out of that her horrible matchup for her and make sure that I continue to put pressure on my enemy team, right? Okay, so right now we're going for for the top, uh, top lane, okay, we keep pushing, after that I'm not afraid of Nar, I disrespect him a little bit here, I'm baiting him out because Tarek is here, right, I'm not afraid of getting a little bit poked down here, okay, we're looking to kill this Nar, right, I'm poking him down, I got his bone plating, I'm happy with that, right, even if I get poked down a little bit, doesn't matter, right, if he commits on me, he dies, so it doesn't matter too much, right now I'm just being patient, being patient, I'm not eating in because he has R, and now I eat in, but I don't care, I have cleanse, and then I just murder him, right? Oh, perfect, and now after murdering him, I don't see the mid laner, so I back out, right? Okay, then I'm like, okay, we can heal up, there's no problem, right? Also, I get bone healing from... And uh, shielding from Tarek as well. I see Trash, but I, I see Akali mid, so I'm not afraid of any of them, basically. Diana is bot also, so I'm literally just chilling, right? Uh, Trash flashes on me, but... I don't care too much because Tarik has R, right? And right now I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. The moment the freaking um, Twitch comes next to me, I instantly jump in, right? And we get a double kill, alright? After getting double kill, we continue pressuring because we saw Diana bot side and we saw Akali mid. Right now Akunar is here, but we have Rangar here as well, so I feel pretty safe. After that, uh, top turret, I'm resetting, right? And my team is still dying, right? Uh, Katarina is literally dying to 4, Eloa is 0 3, right? I'm the only one with the kills, right? I'm the only one who has 12 kills, right? And holding this game together. Okay, so right now I go mid. Sadly, we lost a mid turret because my team couldn't defend mid turret, right? And mid turret is really important, so right now I'm just going mid, collecting my wave, and I'm gonna continue pressuring the mid turret, alright? I collect the CS, it's great. Akali is mid, we saw that on the minimap, right? Uh, but I'm not afraid of Akali because I have Tarik and I'm full health, right? And I have two E's just in case if I need to outplay, so I'm chilling, right? After pushing in mid, of course I look for a roam, right? Because we're under a turret, I can't pressure a turret, right? I look to roam, okay? I roam top, right? Because Katarina is mid and they always TPing bots, so we're looking for Agnar pick. So right now we're cutting out Agnar. I know Agnar should be somewhere here. Maybe he went down. Okay, never mind. We don't chase him, probably, right? No point. Yeah, we go for Vape. Oh, never mind. Agnar goes on me, but I'm not afraid because Tarek is next to me. So we just kill Agnar. Yeah. So this is fine. We see free mid, right? So we continue pressuring. We are not afraid of anyone. We have pretty good vision control, right? That ward right here helps us a lot to pressure, right? Uh, also, adapt your plays based on the vision that you have, right? A lot of ADCs, they just default to things, right? Play around your vision. So this is a mistake right here. I overstepped and I auto-attacked the turret for free, right? I disrespected them and I instantly get punished. I thought that Tarek has R, but he didn't have the R. And now I get murdered. So my 700 gold bounty went away. So that's not ideal, but it is how it is, right? At least we're getting bot to it, right? We're getting some pressure bot, we're getting dragons, right? We're getting pressure on the map. So it's not too bad, but 
that was a mistake by me uh, I should never over push this uh, confidently unless Tariq has R but I just assumed that he has R but his R was like on 4 second cooldown because he R'd me when we already were dying right so it was my bad okay after that we go mid right okay we push in mid after pushing mid I see that we are all free top so what do I do I keep pushing mid because I'm not afraid of anyone right so I get the mid turret and then I go for another one, because why not? Like, no one is still defending me. I'm not afraid of Akali. I'm not afraid of Twitch. So, I go in. We get the Twitch. And then I dodge the Akali's Q with my E. And I run away, because I already achieved what I wanted, right? And this is all happening while my top laner is 0-5. While my mid laner is 4-5. And my jungler is 2-3, right? Literally, it's me, against Tar uh, me uh, and Tarek against everyone, right? So I take the jungle camps here. Okay, perfect. And I'm doing that because look at my gold. I have 900 gold and the wave is here is pretty close and I'm safe to take this wave. So I was like, why not, right? Why not? Okay, I go for Akali. I misplay a little bit. I miss my Q. I try to flash. I misplay more. She flashes away, right? I would actually get her if she didn't have flash, but she has flash. Trading flash for flash is not ideal. 600 gold bounty, right? But I was feeling a bit too confident. Alright, so we go for the Herald. After the Herald, I go top. I take the top wave, right? Perfect. We push one more. And then they're gonna be resetting. Perfect. Uh, my backing time is at 1.5k gold, right? And I'm gonna be getting uh, Aldiar, right? Aldiar gonna help me a lot, right? And you're like, oh, but the only Gnar has thing is oh, they are gonna help me in general to do way more damage and to maintain the snowball right so I love LDR like the item so feels so nice on Nila right so after that always push out mid so right now I see Diana going on me so I'm like okay we are not alone I back out right I get the two R's and I trade one for one which is not ideal but it's not too bad because my team can get some follow-up kills after I die so it's good for my team but it's not that good for me right so okay never mind katarina just couldn't do anything all right that's fine my team didn't get kills that many kills but two for two it's not bad but could be better okay we're still fighting and we're still dying the freaking Tariq just won me one the adc sadly the twitch is gonna get the shield and he's gonna run away while the Tariq gonna be running down the trash like look at this oh my god look at this and trash has to flush away and Talik is like oh you try to juke me not on my watch and catches the trash out on a pink ward how like oh my god this Tariq was insane okay so now we go bot uh, we kill the Gnar, that's good. After killing Gnar, we're gonna take red buff. After red buff, we're gonna take Raptors probably, depending on the mid wave. Yeah, we have enough time to take it, so we take the Raptors as well. After that, we're grouping with the team, right? So right now, we're almost double the CS of Twitch, so that's not too bad, right? And Rengar is trying to look for a pick, that's fine. I continue to siege because three of them are down, right? So why not? Let's just continue sieging. Uh, okay, this is fine. Okay, we push one more wave in. After we push one more wave in, we go bot. Perfect, perfect. We herald bot, we get the bot to it. Even if I die here, it doesn't matter. My goal is to get an inhib, right? It's fine. It's fine, it's still fine. I'm just slapping, slapping, slapping. Yeah, and I probably die here, right? This is still fine if I die. Because I'm taking everyone with me. I got like three of them going in one before, right? So it's not too bad, not too bad. Also, we have all dragons, so it doesn't matter if we get one, right? So the game is in ideal spot for us currently, right? Skip forward. Uh, there's some shenanigans going on that Katarina tries to outplay Akali and then doesn't work out, right? So you can you can see like the teammates are not the best. Let's just say that, right? Okay, just skip forward a little bit until we respawn and then we're back. What do we do? We do Baron, right? 
Our next objective is to do Baron, so we're spamming with uh, spamming a Baron. I start the Baron because my team doesn't want to start Baron for some reason. So I was like, okay, screw it, let's start the Baron. And now team fight up appears. Proc. And while the Tarik ult is proccing, I'm ulting the Akali. After I ult the Akali, I try to focus Wagnar, I kill Wagnar as well. We get two kills. And then we get the Baron. And look look at this. After we're getting the two kills. I instantly run to the Nexus, I'm like, I just need to end it, I, you know, like, I'm just gonna end it as soon as possible until this team throws even harder, right? Also, I'm almost full build right now. I even builded Amar against Diana and uh, uh, Akali, right? So my last item would be Hemtag this game. The Hemtag would be ideal, to be honest. So yeah, now I'm just focusing the Nexus, and we end the game. So yeah. That's about it for this replay, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any questions, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and have a nice rest of your day.